Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ayana. I'm a licensed massage therapist. I'm also a licensed esthetician and I own a spa here in Florida. And in this video, we're talking about the supplies that you need to own your massage business, to do massage. If you're a new graduate, this is going to be a great video for you. Or if you're just curious about what type of supplies that I keep, we're going to get into all of that. So the first is going to be a face cradle that is good quality. So I've bought so many different face cradles and I also have to buy, I buy supplies also for my team, so other people who are under my business doing services for us. One of the biggest problems I've run into is finding good quality face cradles. So what will happen is these face cradles will get all like crumply and like pieces of the, the coating will start falling off. If you wanna get a good quality face cradle, I'm gonna link everything that I'm talking about down below so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, but you wanna get a good quality one, one that feels sturdy. You don't want anything that feels like really cheap or plasticky. In addition to that, something that can help you protect those face cradles is if you um, get a fleece set to go over the face cradle. So this is gonna be a fleece cover that goes over your face cradle so that it doesn't get uh, messed up too soon. The second thing is to have a good quality oil. The oil that I like to use is Rice Bran Oil and I'll also link that down below. I just like the consistency. I like that it's not too oily, that it absorbs into the skin really well. I do lymphatic drainage massage, so um, addressing scar tissue is a big part of my job and I find that this type of oil really helps with scar tissue because it has a lot of vitamin E already in it. So that's the oil that I recommend. I personally don't like to use creams because you just never know who's allergic to what. So I like to use something that's 100% oil, not cut with anything, no, fragrancy, no fragrances, no dyes. And so I recommend rice bran oil. Next thing is to have a cart. So I personally don't use carts. I do have some people on my team who use carts. I just, I'm so used to carrying the table and I've had some carts kind of clunk out on me or not be the best quality. You all have recommended me um, carts because you see me in my vlogs carrying my table. And so I'll, you know, put a picture of what the cart looks like, but this is essentially gonna help you carry your table. I don't personally use them. The next is gonna be a portable speaker. So you wanna have a portable speaker, if, especially if you're doing mobile massage. Um, even if you're just at your suite, you wanna bring have a speaker there so you could play music and set, set the mood and all that stuff. The next thing you wanna have with you is just extra, we call them like ponytail holders. Um, there's so many different names for this, but essentially it's what will, hold your hair back like this i especially need to do it because i have a lot of hair as y'all can see right here so i think it's important to keep your hair back so it's good to have some extra ponytail holders um headbands i personally like headbands because again i have a lot of hair and i don't want to be like doing a massage and my hair like grazes them which has happened before so definitely use a headband and another item that i use in my practice now is i actually don't use sheets anymore because the service that I do is so medical, what I do now is these bed liners. So these bed liners, I get them from CVS. I, I've also ordered them in bulk from, um, from Amazon. And I just put those on my bed and I also use it to drape the client. I use about three per client, so you can kind of do the math on that to see if it's worth it. But I just hate laundry. Um, ever since I had a baby, like laundry has gone up like this and I just don't like doing it. I do not deal with that type of laundry anymore unless I'm doing like a traditional massage, like a deep tissue massage or Swedish massage or something like that, which is pretty rare. So the next thing is to have a fleece cover for your table. So we talked about fleece covers for your um, face cradle, but what about a fleece cover for your actual table itself, especially if you have a stationary practice and you're not mobile? It's really important to protect your table because what will happen is the cushion on your table will fade over time if you're not taking care of it correctly or even if you're using um, cleaning agents that can erode the, the covering on it. So you don't want that to happen. I don't like laying on tables that are all like beat up already. Definitely get yourself a good fleece cover. And then speaking of tables, let's talk about tables. 
So again, I'm a mobile massage therapist and I've bought at least, it's had to be at least like eight different tables before because not only do I buy them for me, for, for my use, but I buy them for massage therapists who are on my team doing services. And so I need to have a really good table because we have gotten rid of certain tables. There are certain tables that don't have a good, um, uh, not shelf life, but they, they, don't, they don't last long. So you really want to invest more into a good table because that's going to be like your main supply. That's like you can't do the massage without a table. You're not going to do it on a couch or on a bed or anything like that. And if they're coming to you, you need a really good table. So I'm gonna recommend two. One for if you have a stationary practice, and then I'm gonna rec recommend this other table. I'll put it on the screen here. I don't know the names of the models. Those are two recommendations for a table. One for if you have a stationary practice, and then one for if you are mobile and you need something lighter, something that is aluminum and isn't going to uh, fade out on you. Here's a bonus supply and this is something that I was excited to get in my practice. I went about two years without having one but that is going to be this right here. The iPad. If you saw me looking down I was looking down at this because this has my notes but I actually purchased this with business credit which was really cool but this thing comes in handy. I'm actually gonna tell you some of the apps that I use on this thing. It's called Zenclop, so maybe you've heard of it, but essentially it does this, and this helps me keep track of the time. Not only does it have like the time, but you can also set a timer. So you could set a timer, so if you're doing like a 90 minute session or a two hour session or a 50 minute session, you can actually keep track of the time on this thing. Um, so that's something that I really like. But yeah, so I like having this around. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know I love digital planning. You know I love using my iPad. So let me actually show you what else you can use this for. You can actually use this for intake. You can actually keep track of intake on here, your treatment plan, your soap notes, COVID consent forms, all that stuff. and keep records of that on your iPad. It's actually really, really cool. I actually made these uh, templates, and if you would like um, these templates, I'll put the link down below. And then another thing I like to use on here is Handy Dandy Square. So I can actually take payments and things like that, look at transactions and get tips using the Square app on this thing. So the iPad actually comes in handy. I know it's a bigger investment, but I say it's worth it because there's just so much you can do on this. And then the very, very last thing that I'll talk about is always have your business cards with you. As you can see, I have a QR code on here. I have a whole video on how you can put your own QR code, and this leads to how clients can leave reviews and book with me and all that stuff. So yeah, you always wanna have business cards on you. You never know. So those are the supplies that are going to help you get through your practice. Everything that I talked about is gonna be linked down below. And um, if I miss anything, put it down in the comments. Tell me what supplies are useful in your practice. Someone else might see that and find that helpful. All right, well, I will see y'all in the next video. Stay well, bye.